do you find yourself thinking about what is going on in New York City at all? Um, sometimes I do. I just don't like really know what I'm thinking about at the like like sometimes I just think about it in like the middle of my day, mm-hmm. like when I'm supposed to be doing something else. Like, so I, so when you start thinking about it, yeah. what? What are you thinking like, about? I usually think it not like in a school day. I think about it when I'm watching the news. Mm. Really about it. But, yeah. Yeah. And, and what? And what does it make you think about? It just makes me think about. I don't know. Like it's just crazy what's happening in New York because it's the. It's just it's the most craziest thing there that's happening for the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. So and there's the most people there. Right. And we know a lot of people that are there. Sure. Yeah. But you're but you're glad that we left. Yeah. Correct. Uh huh. Even though that's home, right. you're glad we left. Right. And today is a little show and tell. So what are you gonna show and tell? I just lost my first two teeth. <laughs> and as you can see, there's two curling in. All right. So. So it happened by a year ago. So before the pandemic, I went to the dentist. And they took an x-ray, my first x-ray, on my teeth. So the dentist noticed that they were like this sliverous, very slivery. Slivery? Yeah. What does that mean? Slivery teeth. Slivery teeth, what does that mean? They tell me like the thinnest of their thin. Thin? Yeah. So slivers, what? Slivers were in between your teeth? No, thin and then just tiny bit, a little high. Just like a tiny bit. Oh, so oh, oh like, those teeth going in behind. Yeah. Oh, so, little slivers of the teeth yeah. behind. Got yeah. it, got it, got so it. So she noticed that. Mm-hmm. And she said, you'll get a wiggly too soon. So that was true. I So I just lost those two that she, she said I was going to lose. But, and now, they were getting really wiggly. I only had one that was wiggly at first. And then the second one was wiggly after the first one, and that one came out first. Mm-hmm. That's pretty crazy. If you don't do this, then we're not friends. Well, you got to be able to have confidence in yourself right. to then stand up for yourself. So how have you, have you handled that? Because I know, I do know that this, that this comes up. Right. So I just, I feel like it's never true stuff. It's never true. What do you mean? Like, when they say that, it's like even if you don't do it and they say you're not friends that's literally just that moment really just that moment right yeah so and even if it's let's say even if it's longer um it it's like go it's like we just talked about it's like if you like follow what your mind wants to do and what you want to do and what you think is right, right. and yeah. what you think is right even if they're not going to be your friend right and you and as you said and something we've talked about a lot if someone one if someone says that to you they're not really your friend and two it's just in that moment anyway they're going to forget about it but it's I, I do know that it's tough to hear and then think well oh my god she says she's not gonna be my friend but i do want her to be my friend but if someone is gonna say that to you then they're really not your friend but how else how else could you and i i know we've discussed this how else could you handle that if someone says if you don't let me have some of your lunch or if you don't let me if you don't uh, if you don't play with us today um, I'm not going to be your friend. How, how else could you? How else I could you handle it? You could also say something into the moment of, to them about how that's not fair, and that you should tell other people how you would want to be treated. Because, like, let's just say that like you're one of my friends, okay. and you're saying that I like you could pro- you could say I, I could say it to you like why it was fair and like and that um like I wouldn't treat you that way so don't treat me that way because if you treat me that way I'm gonna treat you that way and no one wants that right so and you say in the moment and I yes exactly right and 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 something else you could say is so you're willing to throw away our entire friendship because 
I don't want to play that game with you today? Think, think about that. Have you ever been in that situation where you've said, wait a second, you don't, you say you don't want to be my friend just because of that? Then, then, then what are we doing anyway? Right. Yeah. Right. Think, think about that. Think about the, the big picture. I wouldn't want to be mean to you if I, if I, if, so I wouldn't want someone to be mean to me, basically. Right. What's, right. what's the, what's the point? Yeah. Yeah, it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot easier to be kind than it is to be mean to somebody. Yeah. It's almost like being mean. It's like hard. You, you have to you have to go out of your way to be mean. It's like basically, it's like there's a brick wall between kind and mean. But you're usually on the kind side. We have to like break the bricks with your hands, basically, to be, be mean. on the mean. Side. Yeah, you gotta you gotta like think about it and try and try to do it, which is yeah, which like, makes it disappointing. Who wants to? Yeah, why would you want to spend your time doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm glad the way you, you handled it. And I would just continue to handle it that way. And, you know, eventually you'll find people with enough respect for themselves and self-esteem and self-respect for themselves that they have that same type of respect yeah. for you. Yeah. Right, I'm proud of you. Love you. Love you. to another episode of The Pablo. I'm Eden, and this is my dad, Noah. And every week, we just sit on my bed and have a conversation about something we want to talk about. And this week, we're going to give out some awards to our favorite Trader Joe's products. And this is inspired by the Trader Joe's podcast, and they just gave out some customer choice awards, so we decided, let's do our own. <laughs> so and if you have any favorite products that you love that we didn't mention on here we would love to hear from you best dessert i love this category chocolate babka all oh, right i think that's the best babka i've ever had we've had it's, a lot of babkas yeah i have and that is the best it is so good what makes it so good it's not it's very chocolatey but it's not too chocolatey it's okay. not dry it has a nice balance in between everything. How would you describe? You said it's not dry, so how would you describe it's it? It's moist. Mm -hmm. It on the bottom melts it, in your mouth. On the bottom, it gets a little crispy, I guess. No, that's I don't on, know top, what it's on top. On top, on the bottom, I think it gets a little gooey. Yeah, and that's that's great. It's fine.